Hello everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. Today we will be working on a requested song from one of you and uh, the name of it is uh, Dream Wedding by uh, Richard Kleiderman and that's what we will work on. Uh, I play uh, part of it but it's true that uh, what I play is half and uh, there is a device that uh, makes the piece go back to the beginning um, anyway, uh, if you learn what I just played, um, it will allow you to play the entire song. Now let's start by a little bit of theory. When we have this melody at the beginning, it's true that what we are outlining is a, a B flat major and also a G minor scale. And then you have there uh, a G minor um, arpeggio or chord. So we'll use this chord as a reference, G minor, to start with. Now, the first uh, thing I will do is learn one line at the time uh, of the melody and then go back and try to put the background together with it. So what I'll do is maybe I do two measures of the line and then I do the background and so forth. And we'll see how much we could get in. Uh, let's start by the melody. So it starts on G, and like I said, I'll launch G minor chord. That's first first melody. Uh, let's do one last time. I do it slow so you can see the finger. So I start with one, and then use the third. If you put exactly the same fingers, you can't go wrong. Now, uh, as far as the left hand goes, we'll use two chords. Uh, we use a G major, and you also will use a C minor. songs who use this uh, G minor and you can see it here all that left hand has to be taken care of while we play uh, the melody so if we count a little bit the beats of it so one two three four one two three four one It's important that uh, you count so when you put it together it becomes a little bit easier. Uh, let's do one last time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, at the beginning I recommend that you play the chord and play the melody and play the chord on the first beat. That means you play this. that let's do it one last time two three four okay and then once you get a sense of it uh, if you want you could uh, emphasize every beat that means play the chord every beat but um, um, if you do it slowly you could start putting it together Notice it's very important to emphasize the one that matches so. So when you play this, I know it's not musical, but it helps to put the hands together. So we match every other note basically when we do. For 
as far as for the matches matching notes i think that's the best i can do uh, to show you how to do it now uh second melody we take two measures and after this we play that's the second time so let's do it again remember to emphasize every other note Some people do it up here, some people do just Okay, so uh, let's concentrate on the left hand. We use uh, three chords for to resolve this area, of the part of the melody. We use F7. Uh, and that's F7. You have an F major, the seventh is the E flat. Then we go to B flat. B flat is like this. And we have a D7 to create a little bit of tension in it. It's true that F7, tension, B flat, resolves tension again on uh, D7. Uh, always, when you practice, try to enjoy each, uh, enjoy each sound that you play. You have this. Anyway, let's do it. Uh, i show you how, where um, those chords we come from, but uh, uh, let's play it like the way it will be. So we could do one chord. This is F uh, major of F7, then B flat, and then D7. So let's try it together. together now let's do it one last time a little bit faster okay let's go to the uh, next part the next part is going to be all of it uh, in three beats. So that means uh, we'll have one, two, three, one, two, three each time. And I think I'll start with the left hand. Uh, they're the same chords we already did. So we'll have G minor, three. We could start counting already. So we could start counting the way it's going to be one, two, three, one. over there so um, it's gonna be in three three pulses uh, per measure now if you uh, want to divide it already know that when we put it together we start like this but uh, we could also start splitting them and it will be that because I skipped uh, two measures of it. Let's do it again. So we have one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So first of all, you learn that uh, bass line that we have and, and then you go to the right hand. So we, when we have G uh, minor here, we also do have G minor here. So, so you'll see that the whole line in here, we could already match it with the chord. We're going from, we're going from G minor to uh, E flat major, so which is a C minor seven. So let's try it.
Then it goes to the same, does the same line, but higher. So I'm not gonna explain this part, it's the same thing uh, higher. So uh, let's do it the way that it will be. Know that if you wanna practice the melody by itself, So if I put those fingers, uh, you might be watching at the finger and be wondering if those are the only fingers you could do. No, there are other fingers you can use. I use the ones that uh, work best for me. And I think that every human uh, will have the same hand almost, maybe a little smaller, a little bit bigger. So what works for me should work for you. Uh, maybe some fingers you are not uh, used to playing as much. So it might be a little more difficult, but um, if you use this, it's uh, the fingers that come up uh, natural for me. The other interesting thing about the harmony is like uh, when I think is I'm playing G minor here to C minor 7. Uh, it's, it's beautiful there and then the, um, the C minor 7 still. I could always uh, make chords out of the song after I learn it. All the time when you have a, a G minor chord on the left hand, uh, usually the melody line will outline those chords and so forth. So if you have a, a melody line that outlines uh, the G, this is just broken G minor. That's uh, C minor. So I uh, urge you to look for that because that's what's interesting uh, about music. And then from there you could start making up maybe your own uh, little song or something to start with. Well, anyway, let's uh, do this part one last time. So I, I'll do it very slowly so you can see, so. Now we go an octave higher, we do the same. As far as uh, what this uh, song, uh, it's going to change now totally uh, to a, um, a little bit uh, on the right hand, but the left hand uh, will remain the same. So uh, we start maybe with the part that changes uh, so you can see it. So uh, we have this line now. That's all one, so I usually do also memorize this line, do it as much as possible. Sometimes you could cut it off, you could do a little part, so maybe that's enough if you're uh, just trying to get it. So, once you have that, you do the next one. Notice how the theme you repeat to say high note. Fast notes, high note, same thing now. Okay, that's as far as uh, the line goes. If you want to play a little bit slower one time. Okay, let's do the chords now. So we count three per chord. We do it like we always do it together. It's possible that this could be difficult if you don't have a, a big hand. I happen to have a big hand, so I'm lucky so I, I could stand at 10 notes or 11, but some people could reach only an octave. If that's uh, your case, what you'll do is uh, make this smaller. But um, I have experienced that even if you have a little hand like this, 
we still rotate to get to us. So let's say a rotation allows me to get from here to here, let's say. So if you have a small hand, just try to rotate as much as possible and don't punch it like I'm going to do it now because you probably can't reach it anyway. So uh, let's do G minor now. One, two, three, C minor. One, two, three, F7. One, two, three, and then B flat. Back to G minor. Two, three, C minor. And then D major. And then he goes back. So maybe I tried to play it together, so... Okay, and most of them match, uh, emphasize the one that match, so that means... line which uh, will be uh, repeats and the chords are the same here I only can show it to you um, it's not on the original version uh, I do it a little bit more exciting sometimes so I play this so basically I do the entire In octaves, so. okay. So, as a, an advice, I recommend doing each line uh, by itself. Uh, try to keep in mind the B flat major scale. On the G minor scale and always when you play a melody it will help you uh, memorize uh, the the line um, so each phrase try to see where they come from that means they has to have a background so it's either G minor is C minor any of those B flat so um, each time when you play the say this chord no you have the same kind of uh, thing on the left hand but split usually um, I think I'm going to close playing a little bit, um, have a good time practicing and uh, enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>